Hey everyone, Val here, and I'm going to be cooking dinner. I'm going to try to do an eggplant lasagna, so to speak. Um, this is something new that I'm going to try. I'm going to see how it comes out. Um, and I'm going to be making a spaghetti on the side for Steve, because I don't want to eat the pasta. I'm going to try to keep with my healthy eating. So let me show you the ingredients I'm going to be using, and we'll get started. So I have an eggplant here that I'm going to be slicing into thin slices. I'm going to be adding some mushroom, some onion. I have a little bit of uh, low-fat uh, part skim milk, uh, shredded pizza cheese. I'm going to use a little of that. I've got 90% lean ground beef. And then I have my homemade spaghetti sauce, and this has a lot of the different Italian herbs and spices in it, garlic and everything. So I'm going to be using that with a can of tomato paste as a thickener on that. So um, I've started a pot of water for Steve's spaghetti. I've got that um, warming up. Got the oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm going to start the preheat on that. And I have my pan for the eggplant. Um, that I have sprayed with uh, canola oil and I'm going to get started. Got my ground beef started in the pan and I'm going to take some uh, Worcestershire sauce and just kind of sprinkle it around. Probably do a little pepper. And just a touch of sea salt. The sea salt. All right, and we're just gonna brown our ground beef. So I'll be right back when the ground beef is browned. Okay, my ground beef is uh, done. It's all sautéed, and I've drained the grease out of it. There wasn't a whole lot of grease left in it because. Um, it was 90% lean. I'm going to pour in my two, my jar and a half of spaghetti sauce. And I did use a large pack of the ground beef because I want enough for the eggplant parmesan and the spaghetti. I'm going to put in the thickener, the tomato paste, to thicken the sauce up. I always make the sauce thin and then when we cook the sauce um, for our spaghetti or whatever it is we're cooking we always add tomato paste into it to, th to thicken it up a little bit so. so let me get this stirred up and heat it up just a little bit and we'll get ready to put the uh, eggplant dinner together Our water is boiling, so we're going to add our spaghetti into the pot. And I'm going to use uh, 16 ounces because we'll do leftovers on this. We'll probably eat this tomorrow also. So we'll have enough of, of both of these to have leftovers. So let me get my spaghetti cooking up there. I'm going to reduce my heat to a medium and we'll continue cooking that up. Okay, so we're going to get ready to do our eggplant. So I'm just going to put a little sauce on the bottom of the pan just to help it to not stick. And I'm going to start out with a layer of the eggplant. Now I cut the eggplant as thin as I could cut it here and I'm just gonna lay a couple pieces of the eggplant on the bottom of the pan um, I may uh, try to just hit a small piece here on the end to try to fill up the pan as much as I can 
cut my mushrooms. I'm going to add some mushroom slices on top. Nice layer of mushrooms there. I diced my onions up, so I'm just going to sprinkle some onions on there. Then I'm going to add another layer of the sauce over top of that. Put a good layer of sauce on there. Pretty good layer of sauce. And then I'm just going to sprinkle a little cheese. Um, I am trying to cut back a little bit on the cheese because I know cheese isn't the most healthy thing for you. So I am, this is um, low fat. So I am going to sprinkle a little on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and do another layer of the eggplant. So I'm going to do that for another layer or two, and then I'll come back and we'll stick it in the oven. Okay, I've got the eggplant finished, so I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil and pop it in the oven, and I'll tell you how long I cook it for. So let me get it into the oven. He's using the Parmesan Romano cheese. Come out a little fast. Mm. All right, so this is Steve, Steve's dinner. Spaghetti with homemade spaghetti sauce. Yep. All right. Okay, the eggplant Parmesan is done, and. I'm going to try to get some out of the pan without making too big of a mess. And that's what it's looking like. I'm going to throw some onions and mushroom on the top there. So that's what it's looking like. It, it looks wonderful. It really does. So let me do a little taste test for you. Bring you over to my plate here. Doesn't that look wonderful? Okay. Let me get this the food cut a little and I will do a little taste test. Nice and tender. There's a mushroom there. Put a little mushroom on there. And uh, let me get that and taste this. Okay, get a bite of the eggplant and the mushroom. The eggplant is cooked through very nicely. The mushrooms are cooked through has a wonderful flavor. Of course, I love my spaghetti sauce. So, um, flavor of the spaghetti sauce is good. Just a hint of cheese in there. Not a whole lot of cheese, but I can taste the cheese. So everything goes together well. Do I have meat in there? I have the ground beef. So it's not vegan. It's not, um, of course, with the, the cheese and the meat. But it, does, it doesn't have the pasta. So I'm, I'm saving some calories on the pasta. I really enjoy this. This tastes really, really well. You need to try this recipe. It's real good. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up. 
remember to subscribe if you're not and you'd like to and uh, leave a comment below tell me what you think it's got a wonderful taste um, I'm gonna sit down and enjoy my dinner hope you all are having a wonderful evening and uh, I will catch you on my next video thank you